Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in this one we're going to do some really fun stuff in Game Maker and you're going to want to follow along with this one. It's really great. Okay, so if you haven't got Game Maker loaded up already or if you don't have it installed, go and get it. It's available free at the sandbox.game website. Download it free, free to use. And if you have got it, load it up, follow along and I'll pause the video here and wait for you. Now I'm only joking. Pause the video yourself. You guys can... Uh, Load up your game when you're ready. Okay, so let's get into it. Really simple, really fun. So take your asset, go into your library, get your NPC, your character that you want to use. And we're going to set his behavior as a farmer. Nice and easy. Now you can see he's got a frame around him. That's where he's going to walk. And in the gathering tags, you can see that he's got already plants. So these are what he's looking for if he goes around the little the universe he's in. If he sees any grass on the ground, you go and pick it up and the grass will disappear. So what's going to happen if you put his tag as a plant as well? So let's give it a go. Simple as that. Add a tag. It's in there as plant. Don't forget to press enter when you do so. Okay, now we're just going to stop into the game and watch what happens. So here you go. you got a little fella walking around looking for the plant. Oof, he's gone. He gathered himself, really. Disappeared. All right, so really easy. Okay, for your second one, get your NPC that you want to use. In my case, I'm, good, I'm using my guy, Max C. Um, and what you want to do with him is, as his behavior, you want to set it as, the first one up here is Acid Spawner. And... The next thing you want to do is choose the asset to spawn. And I recommend you use the exact same asset. So go and find the exact same one that you've put on your space in the first place. And his behavior is none. Okay. And then what you want to do is put his visibility to false. And really what you can do as well is add a component. So we're just going to add an indicator component just to show where he is. And... Okay, wait a sec, go to the indicator and don't display interaction, just have the cursor on, don't have any name, just so delete the name and off you go. Now you can also, if you wanted to, add another component here and that's the rarity effects and that's, we'll just put a little halo around him so you can just have it as high as you want, as strong as you want. So I'll bring it right down. Okay, and watch what happens here. It's a little halo here telling you to interact. Well, guiding you over to it anyway. So if you walk over to it and interact, he appears. There you go. Um, the more you press the E key, the interact key, you'll see him pop out here. See, so you can only do it once. But it's a handy little tip if you want to make characters appear out of nowhere. And he, obviously you can trigger them in different ways as well with the uh, with the numpad or with a speaker component or something. So he won't come, he won't appear until he's triggered. In this case, I use the interact. So really easy again to set up. So just have a look at his the properties. So the collisions you want on. Uh, if you don't, and then he's an acid spawner. So in there, don't forget the the acid that he spawns has no behavior. You can give it one if you want extended the ability further and you don't have to put the halo on you can turn that off and then if you don't have the interaction indicator on then you won't see him at all there'll be nothing there and just make sure that you turn his name off uh, turn the visibility off up here as well so as you can see we walk into the game and there's nothing okay just the collisions are on so you're probably going to bump into him but yeah, you're not going to see him until you interact. So there you go. We pressed E near his space and he's just appeared. So go and have fun with that. Thanks for watching, guys. Once again, if you did like the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's great to see you. See you in the next video. Have fun. Take care. Goodbye.